Okay, so we left off. We had found the total distance again in miles. I better put that miles. And all I did was take equals that cell times two, and then I dragged it down the whole column, right? Okay, so we've got our one-way distance, our total distance, our round-trip costs. Everything's figured. We've named the tab data. We've saved the file. Always good. Back in your data worksheet, record the cost of the cheapest. We already did that. Um, okay, so I think we're done with that portion. Now we've got to move on, right? We've, we've accessed and recorded all of our data. We've saved it. Doesn't hurt to save it again. Click on the little disk icon, save. All right, now we're going to create a scattered gram and linear regression model. So using that data we just made, we're going to create a scatter gram labeling the horizontal distance as axis as flight distance and the vertical axis as ticket price and add a trend line and all that good stuff. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. So over here you've got your total distance and your costs. So you want to click and highlight. So I left click with my mouse and I kind of click up in that cell and then I drag my mouse down and I've got both of those columns highlighted. The total distance and the round trip cost. Then I go to insert and I choose a scattergram right there and I click on this one. That's the only one you'll want. Click on him. And there you go. Now I don't need this little legend over here so I'm going to click on that and press delete. Or I could go up here to layout legend make it none. And then I could go to axis titles. I need a horizontal axis title just like he said in the instructions. I, you just click and type. Type title there. I'm, I'll let you fill that out. And then I'm going to click and do a vertical one. Click on the rotated one. And then you can type right in there and type your title. But I'm not going to. I'll let you finish that out. And then you want to type an appropriate chart label. I'll let you figure out what that should be. Don't type appropriate chart label. <laughs> type your own. Right. Okay. So now I've got the scatter plot. Isn't it beautiful? Let's see what else. So you're going to label it, you're going to label your graph, I'll let you do that. Add a trend line. So when you want to add a trend line, what you want to do is you want to click on one of these points. If you right click, see where it says add trend line right there? You could also do it here. If I click on the graph right here, see it right up here in the trend line menu. Um, if you're working with Excel 2007 or 2010, that's an option. So you could pick linear trend line or you can click more trend line options, whichever. You want a linear one, like that. And while we're on the subject, we are going to turn on these two features down here at the bottom. We are going to display the equation and display R squared. Close. There we are. So we have an equation and we have an R squared for ourselves. Isn't that great? You can make them bigger or smaller, by the way. You can highlight these and go to home. You can say, oh, I want 11 point font. I want it to be bold, whatever. And if you don't like the colors of the dots, you can click on the dots. Let's see, go to design. There it is. And you can fiddle around with it like, I want mine to be red or whatever. Okay. I think we are all done with that section. So we're, I've showed you how to create your labels. You'll go in and finish that. And I showed you how to add your trend line. So all that's good. All right, so we're done with that one. I'll be back for any advice and clues I can give you on the last part.